section 5.4. Um, next in this section, uh, we're going to revisit our order of operations. We have, of course, done this uh, over and over again. <laughs> Every time we kind of learn a new number system, right? Uh, whole numbers, integers, you know, fractions, we always sort of come back and do some order of operations. Uh, so PEMDAS, as always, is our guide. So any sort of parentheses, exponents, or I'm sorry, yeah, parentheses, grouping stuff first, then any sort of exponents, powers, or roots. Multiplication, division, on the same level, addition, subtraction, to sort of finish up again, sort of on the same level. So I have just a short example here. I just kind of picked some sort of book style examples. So this is 8.2 minus two times the quantity, 4.1 minus 5.3. So our parentheses here are gonna be sort of where we start. Um, now this is 4.1 minus 5.3. So, so this is a smaller number. We're subtracting a larger number away from it. So the result there is gonna be negative. Um, what we'll do, you know, because this is all decimal arithmetic stuff, we're gonna have to sort of pull a lot of the, the actual arithmetic sort of off to the side. Um, so in this case, right, to actually do this subtraction, it's going to be the 5.3 minus the 4.1, but then the result is negative. So the 3 minus that is 2, decimal comes down, blah, 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 5 minus the 4 is 1. So this is a negative 1.2 in our parentheses. And then we can carry the rest of this down, the 2 out front, minus, right? Uh, 8.2 minus 2 times that. Um, the the classic mistake, the thing, the, the mistake that I see most often, I think, whenever uh, students are doing order of operations type problems, uh, everybody wants to do 8.2 minus 2 before you multiply. But, but again, remember, this multiplication, right? This parentheses means multiplication. And you have to do all your multiplication stuff, provided there's not parentheses telling you otherwise, before we do any subtractions. So, so you have to multiply this pair first before you do this subtraction. So we need to do, right, a 1.2 times two. Two and two is four, right? Two and one is two. We have one decimal place, so this is a 2.4. That's one you might be able to just sort of do in your head anyway. Um, this is, right, minus, right? So this will be a negative. This is sort of, you know, positive two times this. So minus, this would become negative 2.4. Minus a negative, of course, that's really going to be plus 2.4. And then if we carry the 8.2 down, what we're left with is sort of a final stage here. It's just this one little, last little bit of addition. Positive to positive, so that's kind of nice. Wasn't necessarily expecting that. Six, right? Decimal comes down. Eight and two is 10. So the final here is positive 10.6. So these really end up being kind of great problems just to sort of practice all of our different um, decimal arithmetic, just sort of all, all in one place, all in a row. Uh, pretty good stuff. Um, but it's all just our PEMDAS rules right? Doing any parentheses, all this, all the same kind of stuff. So it's just now with the addition of, right, the setups really are the same. It's just with the addition of now some of the numbers are decimals. Let's do another. Let's do 5.4 minus 1.4 divide by 7. And then that's all over 30 divided by 100. Um, so in this case, right, uh, our, our, our PEMDAS, we have, you know, in theory, this is really like everything up top divided by everything on the bottom. You know, this sort of big division, right, the sort of fraction style division stack. You know, it, it really is, is kind of another way of, of writing it like that. So we kind of want to do everything on top as its own thing and everything on the bottom as its own thing. So let's just sort of isolate the top here first. So this is 5.4 minus 1.4 divided by 7. Now, PEMDAS says I should do this section of division before I do the subtraction. You, your eye might be drawn to well, 5.4 minus 1.4. That would just be 4, right? That would be slick. <clears throat> However, 
we have to do division before we do the subtraction. Um, so 1.4 divided by 7, so that's 7 on the outside, 1.4 on the inside. This is uh, essentially 7 into 14, right? The 0 is here, it's going to go into 14 twice. So that's actually a pretty fast division, would, would leave us with 0 0.2. Right, because it's 1.4 instead of 14, we sort of see the answer get sort of scaled down as well. Just doing our regular long division setup uh, with our decimal place, just carry it from, from the inside number up top. That's where we're going to end up. So, so the top then is 5.4 minus 0 0.2. Um, right, if I sort of stack it, minus 0 0.2, so that's really going to be... 5.2. So that's really what I'm left with in the numerator up top. So 5.2 divide by, well, what's the bottom going to be? Is that always in frame? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bottom is 30 divided by 100. Well, this is fast, right? Because this is just um, our nice division by powers of 10. So that's two zeros in 100. We're dividing, so the number's going to get smaller. So we're going to shift the decimal two to the left. Of course, the decimal in, in 30 is over here. So two to the left. Um, so dividing there is really going to become uh, zero point, you know, point 0.30. We'll just call that 0 0.3. So the division is really just a decimal shift. So that's going to be 0 0.3 on the bottom. So this is, you know, 5.2 divide by 0 0.3. So one last sort of division here. Now what I'm going to do, right, 0 0.3 going into 5.2. Whoops. That <laughs> kind of got away from me a little there. Now as, as we did right before in the last section, I don't want to end up. I can't really divide by a point 0.3. I need to divide by 3. So I got to shift this over. So so this really becomes I'm kind of squeezing this in here on the bottom. I'm getting a little greedy with how much space I gave myself. 52. Is that going to go? I don't think that goes in evenly. So we'll, we'll call this at least point 0. Um, 3 goes into the 5 once. 3 is 2, 22 goes in there, 7 is 21, leave me with 1, and that's going to be 10.3, that's going to be 9, which is going to leave me with another 10, and that's going to be 3 is repeating. Oh man, this really got kind of messy here at the end, apologies for this. So this is a, a repeating 3. So my final here is really a 17 point, and I'll use my, my, my decimal repeating notation. I'll put the three with the bar over it on the end there. So 17.3 repeating, and that'll be my final. So again, these order of operations, it's you know just a way to kind of do uh, all of our decimal arithmetic, just kind of all in, all in one. Um, the other thing here, to sort of finish 5.4, I think we have enough time to sort of squeeze. I just wanted to do one example. Um, it's really kind of more of the same, but, you know, uh, evaluating algebraic expressions. Algebraic. Right, so what does this mean? Well, so for example, right, say you let's evaluate. So given an algebra expression, something like 2x minus 3y. So let's sub in some values where the x is 5.6 and my y value is negative 1.3. So just as a for instance, right, we could essentially pick any kind of numbers we wanted to here. So all I'm going to do is sub these values in, and then it becomes an order of operations problem, essentially, right? So let's say my x is in orange. So 2 times x, so 2 times 
5.6. Okay. Minus 3 times my y value. Let's do the y in red, maybe. Negative 1.3. Something like that. So PEMDAS, what I need to do here really is, is both of these sort of multiplications, just kind of quick. <laughs> Cats jumping around, very good. So we'll do this multiplication. We'll kind of maybe do this off to the side here on the left. 5.6 times two, six and two, 12, two, five, 10, 11. So that'll be 11.2, just as a positive. Minus, okay, this guy, so 1.3 times 3, 3.9. Now that was negative, right? So minus a negative 3.9. So these multiplications are pretty fast. So that at least, right, we're not trying to blow you guys over with tons and tons of really, really big work. So minus a negative, right? That's really plus a 3.9, and then this 11.2 carries over. So this is just a stack. I'm kind of just write it underneath. Two, nine, right, would be 11. Just one and one here, five, one. So it looks like this is gonna be 15.1 as a positive here to finish. So, you know, I kind of think of these, uh, uh, algebra evaluations, you know, evaluating the algebraic expression, it, it really is just sort of a, a dressed up um, PEMDAS problem, right? You just do this one kind of substitution uh, and then you're just doing order of operations again after that. So that's all we've got um, for there. Uh, I'm trying to think, you know, the exercises, there's a, a couple of these, but again, I kind of feel like at this point we've done so many of them. Um, and you've, you've probably done a lot of different decimal work at this point. So it's, it's really just a way kind of in context to review all of our decimal arithmetic. So there we go, section 5.4.